Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this edition of Wednesdays in the Word. I'm Pastor Steve, as always, joined by my dear brother in Christ and great friend Daniel Allette, and we're so excited to be continuing our conversation with you tonight. Mm -hmm. We trust that these last several weeks, uh, last couple of weeks, Daniel, we've been talking about world events sure. and, and things sure. that are unfolding in our nation and uh, just, we, we pray this has been an encouragement yes. for, for the viewers yes. and yes. also that it has in some way inspired conversation. For sure. Because we need conversation. Definitely. Uh, we need, uh, listen, um, many years ago, and I know this is, excuse me, okay, I'm, I'm not so... Um, I'm not so holy that I can't use a secular illustration now and then, but years ago, uh -huh. the king, mm -hmm. Elvis, yeah, yeah, yeah. used to sing a song, we can't go on together right, right. with suspicious mind, right. you know, and, and you can't, you can't sure. build relationship right. based on suspicion. Yes. Uh, you have to communicate. The only way to, to dispel suspicion yeah is to communicate and sure. to talk about issues sure. and to, to understand one another. So we pray mm -hmm. that this has been the effect of these uh, talks, these yeah. sessions that we've had yeah. for the last little while yeah. because we need healing. We need reconciliation in That's our right. land. That's right. And, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, people want to argue. I, I, get, mm -hmm. I get so tired. I, I really weary from people wanting to argue over specifics, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. this, well, this, this man died. Well, here was his rap sheet. Mm -hmm. Who cares what his rap sheet is? Right. He was dead, right. you know, right. unjustly died sure, in the street. Sure, so, sure, but sure, sure. we need to get to a point that like, rather than trying to ascribe or assign blame mm -hmm. and say, mm -hmm. well, this, this wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for that. And this thing wouldn't have happened. And if, you know, and, and he did this, yeah. so therefore you know, karma just right. bit him or whatever, right. you know, right. 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 Uh, had it coming, right. you know, those kinds of yeah. things. And, and it just, it really wears on. And, um, you know, it's, it's really hard. Sometimes you just want to say, you just want to call time out right. and right. say, listen, this, this gets us nowhere. Sure. The, the, sure. the claims from, from both sides, both sides, both That's sides, right. really, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, well, this, you know, this group of people and that group and is just back and it's a constant back and forth that doesn't solve anything. Right. So right. that's our aim in this is to have real life discussions about right. real life issues sure. that lead to and point to a solution. That's right. And uh, and Daniel, that's where we're going tonight yes. is we're going to yes. be again. We've, we've talked about communication. We've yes. talked about yes. understanding sure. and different things like sure. that. Sure. But today, you're going to lead us in a word mm -hmm. uh, that is going to deepen that sure. as far as helping people become a part of the solution. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that's what we want to that's train right. people in. That's right. Is not how to that's win right. an argument, that's right. but how to be a part of the solution. That's right. Because there is a problem. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. Sure. sure. And it's a heart problem. Exactly. Right? It is a hard problem. So Daniel, take yeah. us from there. Yeah, and so you know, I'm glad you mentioned that, Pastor, because again, you got to think about what is what is a real, what is a Christian approach to, mm -hmm. and how do we are we supposed to respond mm -hmm. or respond to uh, what we're facing? Mm -hmm. Obviously, creating great dialogue, right? Because we want to be able to communicate well. Yes. You know, a lot of things break down because of a lack of communication. Absolutely. And uh, uh, messages get lost because we didn't communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I didn't mean what what you heard me say right the way you thought you heard me say that's it, right you know and so um therefore there it calls for a lot of uh damage control got to go mm -hmm. back and dig back up and do certain things to to redo uh, you know uh, uh to get the, the right point across so things like these they they, they help us facilitate conversations Mm -hmm. And approaches that would really get to the root of and kind of solve problems and what you right. know, what, what we're facing. Um, so when we, we last talked, we, you know, again, it's a hard issue, right? You know, um, mm -hmm. I, I can't seemingly seem to move forward without reflecting back on uh, your, your sermon last week, where you mentioned, you know, the tune of our ear ears become the anthem of our hearts. Sure. The tuning of our heart, heart becomes, becomes the, the anthem, anthem of, of our, our life. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Right. In right. other words, 
what we listen to really affects our behavior. It not informs just what we, life song. Exactly. Yeah. And what we listen to, it, it has so much effect. You might not even think it mm -hmm. uh, because it's so subtle. It's, it is. And it's so minute. It is, it's almost unrecognizable. That's right. What we, you know, where the, the scripture tells us, you know you're not that a little leaven leavens the whole the lump. Whole lump. Yeah. You might not even recognize it because it goes into this part. Yeah. And you think the other part is safe. Right. But it, 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 it's, it, Paul said to, to the church of, uh, to Timothy, he said, it spreads like gangrene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This type of attitude, this type of behavior spreads like gangrene. We mm -hmm. got to be careful. You know, so tonight what we want to kind of look at is what where the, the, the psalmist not, uh, uh, said in Proverbs. Well, not the psalmist said in Proverbs, but right. Solomon, Solomon said in Proverbs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, in in uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 4, verse 23 says, uh -huh. you know, uh, Pay attention to these words of mine. Mm -hmm. He said, guard your heart with all diligence. Well, mm -hmm. Out of it flows the issue of life. Right. And so those little minute things that we expose ourselves to, that we think they really have no real major effect, mm -hmm. believe me, they're having some serious effect. A lot of times they don't show up until enough pressure is put on us. Right. And then all of a sudden it comes out. Yes. And so we got to be careful to you know, filter what we, we listen to, mm -hmm. what we see, what we expose ourselves mm -hmm. to. Because they have huge dividends. Not it might not even be for us, but again, you know, Jesus was excellent in telling sure. stories. Oh yeah, yeah. By many stories, he drew the people in mm -hmm. to really hear, and they were relevant stories. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we have, in in, in times like these, mm -hmm. we have the responsible to tell stories. Mm -hmm. But we got to be careful when we tell stories. We don't leave people in a state. Right. That they now have to find to figure out how do how do I get out of this state? Right. It, it built nothing but exposed nothing uh, needs a, a place of anger. Sure. Hatred. Yeah. Division. Yeah. I feel more racist now than than uh, you know uh, after hearing the story than sure. than than I, I, you know I, w I was prior to. Mm -hmm. So we got to be careful that when we when we uh, tell these stories, revisiting certain things in our past mm -hmm. or in the the past that we don't perpetuate. It doesn't perpetuate anything like any hate, any sure. any unscriptural, unbiblical sure. things that are really not healthy yeah. to form good community. Right, right. You know? Yeah, and I, you know, I know people hear me say it a lot, and I know that there's a hazard in repetition in that sometimes it can almost become cliche. Sure. Uh, but I think it I think it needs to be underscored yeah. and pointed out here in this in this point. Listen. You know, you're talking about guarding your heart. Yes. You know, you you not only have to guard what you're hearing, mm -hmm. but you really have to, with that, consider the sources. Right. Right. From whom you're hearing. Sure. Because in that, you know, the the message that you referenced earlier, mm -hmm. that is a succession of a message that was, you know, about hearing from God. Right. right you know, right. and uh, you know. Are we taking more counsels into our lives from the Word? Yes. Or are we taking more counsel into our lives from the world? The world, right. Are we being more informed? And here's mm -hmm. where I said I probably sound repetitious or cliche sometimes. Are we being more informed as to how to feel about situations and circumstances by the news media? Right, right. Or by the Word? Right, right. You know, Right. And that's that's one of those things where we really have to guard our heart. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I know that largely we speak to a, a conservative Christian audience and things right. like that. You know, and I, I'm just going to go on record here and say that you know, Fox News is not the media outlet of the Christian conservative church. That's right. It's just not. I that's mean, right. it, it may be less liberal than some of the other news media, but it's not. That's right. It's not the end all source of information. That's right. And you know, if if all you're doing then is feeding off of CNN, mm -hmm. MSNBC, NBC, mm -hmm. CBS, ABC, oh man, all of these all of these entities, yes, the the days of people just sitting behind the desk mm -hmm. and indiscriminately sharing the news, yes. yes, those days are over. Right, right. Uh, those are gone. Right. That, that's a that's a bygone era of our society. Mm -hmm. And what we have now in the wake of that are, are these huge networks mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. 
project capitalize on they they that's mm -hmm. right they take these they take these uh, sad circumstances mm -hmm. and manipulate them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to press an agenda right right you know and right. and like you were saying you're you're seeing these things mm -hmm. constantly you're ingesting oh man this information over yes. and it's on cycles we yes. call them news cycles yes. now because yes. It, it, there, if you watch the news channels, mm -hmm. the same information loops over yeah. and over and over again. With add-ons. With yeah, right. With with <laughs> add-ons in there, and and it it does it it incites things in us. Naturally, it would. Right, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, naturally, that's a natural response. But we're not to walk naturally. Right. Right. We're we're right. not to walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Well, that's because there's a battle going on. Mm -hmm. There's a battle between the spirit and the flesh, and that's for the position of dominance. That's right. Who are we going to listen to? Mm -hmm. Who are we going to march to? What beat are we going to march to? That's right. It, and so, with that understanding that 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 reality that that it's a battle that we face. That's right. You know, not to cut you off on it on your point, no no no, but understanding that helps us to say, okay, I need to, I can't be spending more time. Feeding my flesh with right. this mm -hmm. because what ends up happening, I am playing nobody but myself. That's right. I'm fooling nobody but right, myself. Right, 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 right. When the pressure comes, my response will be fleshly. Yes. That's oh, yeah, right. Defund, defund the police department. Just think about how crazy that is. Yes. That is ludicrous. It is. You know, yeah. defund the police department. Instead of saying we need better training in the police department, right? We need we, we need more emphasis on in the, on the selection process, right? We need more uh, emphasis on who we using to select, mm -hmm. on how well are they trained mm -hmm. to to be able to do things psychologically to say okay we need these people are great, mm -hmm. but they can't be representing. What is their us. what is their ongoing credentialing criteria? Exactly those things like that. You I know mean, what I'm saying? Yeah, and and not and consistently as 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 things change and as people change and. You, always have something again you're working towards cutting edge mm -hmm. making it better every time you, you right you know. and so uh these are the things that we want to these are the approaches that you want to start establishing okay we can't have people continuing to lash out and responding the way they, they, they respond right obviously there's something wrong with the system mm -hmm. in other words we got to figure out where in the system is wrong mm -hmm. and then we got to address that not defund the system right and say okay well because you know you have high blood pressure well let's go ahead and let that take us out of here we just sure. let that take be the one to kill us right. no uh, you, you <laughs> look to work to control the blood pressure so yeah. the heart doesn't you that's know, right end up with heart disease that's right and everything else can come in line because it's part of the system mm -hmm. what area of the system needs to be uh adjusted or right. re-regulated that's or, right and that's that's you know that's what we fight for so yes. we all could be on kind of on the same page same thing with spiritually mm -hmm. Jesus walked up to the tree and said, uh, with his disciples, he said, you know, look, what came to this tree and it's not bearing fruit? He said, one person said, cut it down. Why cumber it the ground? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's here taking up space and it's useless. Drawing nutrients. Yeah. And, he said, wait yeah. a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's mercy. Right. Let's leave the tree another year. Mm -hmm. Let's fertilize, do all that we're supposed to do. Have we done all we're supposed to do? Right. There you go. You get what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. are, are we praying like we're supposed to pray? Right. Are we are we being part of the solution like we talked about? Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And 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 are Christians? Let me let me back up before yeah. we get too far from yeah. this topic, and, and then we'll run run back into this merger sure. here again. Sure, sure. But when I say and I speak out mm -hmm. about news cycles and things like that, yeah. I I am not suggesting in the least. That Christian people go and stick their heads in the sand and don't watch the news and and have no them. awareness of what's going no, on. You know right. that that's what you call being so heavenly minded that you're no earthly, earthly good. good. That's right. Right. So that's I'm right. not suggesting that at all. I'm right. not saying that we stick our fingers in our ears and right. just da, 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 yeah. you know and don't yeah. hear anything yeah. else. Right. That's not. No, we need to be we need to be aware. Sure, sure. But uh, are we being aware for the sake of? Taking a side in the fight, right. winning the argument, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or are we being aware enough to inform our prayer lives? Sure, sure. And sure. then from the word of the Lord, inform ourselves with the age old question, what would Jesus do? Right, that's right. You that's know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so that's, that's where this thing begins yeah. and, and yeah. ends, yeah. honestly. Yeah. 
That, that is the true, true source of it. And listen, we're, here's, here's what we're telling you. This is what we're telling you that, that none of these news organizations or outlets are telling you. And that is that this, this, this whole stuff we see erupt in all it. Corruption. Mm -hmm. Corruption mm -hmm. is an issue of the heart. Sure, sure. Listen, you know, are there, are there systematic challenges? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are systematic challenges Absolutely. because... Until there's repentance in the heart of the man, you have to have safeguards. That's right. Right? That's right. But, but we go back to corruption in, in law enforcement or anywhere else for that matter mm -hmm. is an issue of the heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, you are confronted by mm -hmm. an authority sure. because you've broken a law. Right. right. That is an issue of the heart. Right, right. You know, oh yeah. Uh, so so it, so it all rolls back. More than I am, I am all about reform. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I am. I mm -hmm. totally am. The the whole chokehold ban and all that. I, I agree. Support it a hundred percent. That's right. That's right. But don't don't miss this, Christian. Don't mm -hmm. miss this. More than any type of reform, mm -hmm. we need revival. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Not. Yeah. And that, you know that I'm reluctant to use certain terms because they just get thrown around so carelessly. Right, right. A lot of times in church world, and it becomes part of the the churchies or the language mm -hmm. that we speak. Yeah, that it yeah. it begins to lose relevance in right. real life, real time. Yeah, yeah. Cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just turns cliche. Mm -hmm. But we need revival. Yes, yes, yes. So we as believers mm -hmm. guarding that heart, yes. like you were talking about. Yeah. 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 And and saying, yeah, I hear, I hear, I mm -hmm. see what's going on, mm -hmm. but I take the stance against it. And uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I take, I, I stand against corruption. That's right. I stand against violence. Yes. I stand against crime. Right. Right. So therefore, I, I support the the entity of the police office. Sure. Sure. You know. Sure. And and I support. The people who have suffered injustices. Oh yes. Because you can stand with, yeah. you can stand with right, right on any side. On any side. Right. That's right. That's right. And and you know as a church that's where we need to be. That's right. We need to be standing with right. With right. On both sides. Uh, well, on every side. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. every side. Yeah. But what am I? How am I conditioning myself? How am I conditioning my heart mm -hmm. to do that? Right. You right. know. Right. Uh, and we can't do that with no heart gate. That's right. That's you know, right. with with no filter. That is right. To that as to right. what we allow right. to come in our ears, right. to come through our eyes. Yes, yes, right. You know, yes, we, right. we can't guard our heart mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. a filter. Sure, sure. And and we're we're a lot of times guilty of uh, uh, portraying. Again, because we didn't, we, we're not guarding ourselves mm -hmm. against certain things. Mm -hmm. It 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 fills our lives before because we again, uh, I made the illustration earlier, Pastor. You know, um, you have uh, one person called a utility company and they fussing mm -hmm. about the, you mm -hmm. know my, my utility bill. All of a sudden, yeah. this uh, it went up, it went up so so high, you know. Yeah. And they came, uh, after doing research, they realized that they had a leak. Yeah, a slow leak. That's right. Unrecognizable. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, again, unrecognizable because if it was a, a a busted pipe, you know you need to get that fixed. Right. A leak, you don't think you need to get it fixed. Oh, obviously it's unrecognizable. But the damage it does, sure, it 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 far outweighs and out surpasses. Yeah. The gushing pipe that you got fixed yeah. in 15, 20 minutes. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so. Uh, you got a, a leak. You don't need to know. No, you need to turn off your water. Yeah. You think you, it, you know all day, all night long for a month. You'll see a significant difference in your bill. Wow. Well, sure. This is the same thing with allowing little drips. Yes. News feeds mm -hmm. to come in that are negative to feed us and feed us before you know it. And again, I said add-ons mm -hmm. when you said earlier. You mentioned earlier because the morning news says it one way. And mm -hmm. by the time it gets to the evening news, they have a little couple of other little things added <laughs> yeah. on. Like, yeah, they yeah. didn't show that this morning. Right, right. Where they right. got this from. Yeah. It's an add-on. It's another, right. another piece to that's add right. on to what they're trying to feed you with. Yeah, that's right. 
And it's a strategic approach. Strategic approach. There, there's an editor back there that's saying, yeah, yeah. "Well, let's hold that. Let's hold that out. We'll we'll push this in the morning. Yeah, we'll push yeah. this in the evening that's with right. it." And, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, Daniel, yeah, yeah. talk to us for a few minutes here um, about, you know, the word says that if we sow to the flesh, yes. then from the flesh we, we reap destruction. That's right. But if we sow to the spirit, yes. we reap life. Yes. Now. Him that together with sure. Solomon's words, yes. above all else, guard our hearts. Guard your heart. And it's a, what the key is consistency, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. What we, whatever again, because it's a it's a it's a battle between the spirit and the flesh. In Galatians chapter five, or chapter six, I mm-hmm. chapter five, it, it says that you you got to guard our, 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 There's a battle between the spirit and the flesh. Mm-hmm. Again, that for the position of dominating, who who we going to listen to? Right. Right? Yes. And the flesh wants to do what the flesh wants to do. The spirit wants to do what the spirit wants to do. So if we continuously, and that's why it goes on to say in that same uh, scripture in Galatians chapter Mm 6, he said, Brethren, don't be wary in Mm well-doing. For in due season you will reap if you you faint not. Right. Right? You don't lose heart. You don't lose hope. Mm -hmm. But you have to, we have to be be encouraged to consistently feed ourselves. Mm -hmm. Don't break the cycle of doing the right thing. Things, the right, right convictions, the right patterns, the forgiveness, mm-hmm. the uh, standing against hatred, the love above all right. covers the multitude of sin. Mm-hmm. The Christian approach always, because if not, what ends up happening is we we would do this the opposite, feed the flesh. And mm-hmm. the Bible tells us that from the flesh we we, we will end up reaping destruction. No and that that goes particularly for this situation that we are in. Uh, Having the right approach each time mm-hmm. we deal with it, 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 people might come to us and have valid points. Mm-hmm. You know, it just doesn't make sense. And just oh, right. and you're right. It doesn't make That's sense. That's right. You know, they, I, I'm there. Mm-hmm. It does not make sense. Mm-hmm. What is our approach to what doesn't make sense? Right. right. Hey, there you go. You, you there you go. And so we have to uh, again have the the Christ-like approach. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. The tree I know is not bearing fruit, mm-hmm. but maybe we didn't do everything we can do. Let's give it a minute. Wait, let, let's yeah. extend a little mercy. Yeah. And let's dig around it. Let's fertilize it. Let's see what happens next year. Yeah. Give it some time. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so uh, that's, I, I believe, is the approach that we have. Again, don't defund the police department. Mm-hmm. Right? That's not the correct approach. Right. Right. You know, you mentioned yeah. last week then every man is, whatever he's doing is right. He's right in his own eyes. That's There's it. No, no one to correct, no one to enforce law. Right. What ends up happening? You have to have a law list. Sure. No law enforcement. Sure. You, you know, and everything goes. Yeah. And so uh, we need the, the, the segment of the, the, the police department and the, what they do to service and protect and serve. We need that in our mm-hmm. society. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we need reform? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Christians, the same thing with us. Mm-hmm. You know, not because there's something wrong with something in the system or in the church. You say, well, get rid of the church. Right, right. You know, uh, let's stop supporting the church. Organized religion. Yeah, that, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. No, we, we address those things that aren't right. Jesus mm-hmm. did the same thing. When he went into the, the temple and, and, and overthrew the temple, mm-hmm. it's because he was addressing something that, something wasn't, that right. wasn't right. When he would look, was looking at and dealing with the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, he called them hypocrites to their face. Mm-hmm. You, you see, because you sit in high places and you instruct people to do things that you don't even have the audacity. You, you don't. Yeah. You don't even intend to do yourself. Yeah, yeah. You put heavy loads around their necks. Right. And you don't intend to help it in the process. You don't intend to be part of the solution. So that is hypocritical. Right. Just like your message on Sunday mm-hmm. that hit us like a ton of bricks. By mm-hmm. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was powerful. Mm-hmm. You know. So we have to keep our 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 ears mm-hmm. tuned into the voice and the word of God mm-hmm. so that it would continuously affect the response in our heart. So that's what we'll live right. by. Our right. behavior would re- be representative of the word of God. Right, right. How does a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to the word. Yeah. The word does you know. Yeah. And and Daniel, one, one probably our concluding point for yeah. today. Yeah. Let's talk about the believer's responsibility sure, with sure. this. Yes. Like this is a directive mm-hmm. of scripture. Mm-hmm. This is not, you know, there there's several places in the word where God says and I the Lord will do yes. a certain thing. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Sure. But then there are places in the scripture where it says 
and you, believer, mm -hmm. you, my son, yes. guard your heart. Right. That's a directive. That, that's something that we're responsible for. Sure, sure. Paul, writing to the New Testament church, says, put off mm -hmm. wrath, that's right. malice, bitterness. all these bitterness, yeah. all these things. That, that, is, that is indicative, although it is spirit-informed, sure. spirit-guided, yeah. yeah. it is indicative of an action of my will. Yes, yes. That I have to yield. Yes, for sure. And so I, I am in charge mm -hmm. of guarding my heart. Right, right. The grace of God mm -hmm. is not going to just grip me and shake me. No, and, no. You know, the right. Holy Spirit's not going to slap, you slap me around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he does it. abuse me from time to time <laughs> when I get out of line, you know, and right. I'm like, hey, whoa, hey. hey so I get chasing. that. But, but yeah, that's good. I, I get, I've been to the woodshed a few times yeah. in the Spirit. But sure, sure. Not in these things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, even if the Spirit chastens me, the Spirit convicts me, I then still have the responsibility. Yes, 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 yes. For sowing to the flesh or to the Spirit. Right. For guarding my own yes, heart. Yes. You know, and we can't, here's the point in that we can't blame or leave it all up to exterior yeah. sources. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And say, well, I wouldn't feel this way if, right, right, right. The, if the news media projected things in a different way, or this, right. or this, or this. Right. No, we we got to be real. Mm -hmm. We've got to deal in reality and what mm -hmm. reality is. Mm -hmm. But then, how do we walk in Christ likeness mm -hmm. in the face of reality? Yes, yes. Does that yes. make sense? It does. Okay. Yeah. It does. It sure does. And and uh, our Christian response and responsibility mm -hmm. has to be in line. And that's why we don't. You know, the Holy Spirit, is, he's, he promised to lead us and to guide us in all truth. Mm -hmm. And so once we uh, settle in that, say, Lord, you, you promised this is what you're going to do. Sure. Help me not to respond in the flesh. Yes. And, and want to be re responding according to what your word says. Again, yeah. uh, not, not being so heavenly minded that you're no, no earthly good. Right, you right. You do have a, still have a life to live. Yeah. But the consistency that we have with and the responsibility to be consistent in our prayer time, in mm -hmm. our reading, and our devotions, and mm -hmm. our facilitating our lives around the Word of God mm -hmm. and the things of God, that's still what we need to continue doing. Ed, absolutely. To build the system so that we'll have the right response sure. when things like these come. Yes. You know? Um, that's right. Because if not, I'm telling you, the natural self yeah. would say, yeah, let's go out there and we might not loot. Yeah, because you know you don't want anybody seeing you breaking into anything. But you right. feel you feel right. the pre in other words the, yeah. the, the the pressure that they exemplify the, the things that they exemplify there, it, you feel the same way, mm -hmm. and you almost cheering them on, right? Yeah, as though it's justifiable what sure. they're doing. Right. In reality, when you should be calling down that that's negative. That is not the way we should do things. Right. The approach is this. Absolutely. Because they need somebody that's clear headed, that's mature. Yeah, that's right. To be able to. Yeah, to represent. Yeah, for sure, yep, yep, yep. for sure. So, yep. Well, Daniel, our time is Running almost up. spent for yep. this week, but uh, would you just pray over our yes. viewers tonight yes. and just ask the Lord's blessing and clarity in their lives? Sure, Father, we just thank you for this opportunity, God, that we can get in your Word, and yes. we thank you, God, for the, to, for the this having being being able to have these conversations, God, yes, that would not only help us have the right focus, but mm -hmm. uh, help our audience as well to have the right mm -hmm. focus and facilitate conversations that would help. Uh, build and help in the, in the solution yes, to, the, to what we are, we're currently facing. Yes, Lord. And uh, as the songwriter says, Father, change our hearts, mm -hmm. O oh Lord. Make it ever true. Yes. Change Lord. our hearts and may, may, may we be like you. Yes, We Lord. want to be able to have your response to situations like this. Respond in, in a Christ-like way. Yes, And Lord. so, Father, we want to continue surrounding ourselves around people that's going to help encourage us. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to continue feeding ourselves with the things that's going to build us up and help us have a godly yes, perspective on, on what what's being we're being faced with. Mm -hmm. And so, God, we just thank you for this platform that you're allowing us to use yes, to not Jesus. just reach our listening audience, but so many people that would come across this and listen to yes. what's being said and, and yes, have their Lord. perspective altered in a right way. And, and, that, and according to your word, we yes, just thank Jesus. you for that right now. We bless you for all that you have done and all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, we trust you've been encouraged by this edition of Wednesdays in the Word. 
As always, I'm Pastor Steve Daniel Alette, and we are wishing you a Jesus-filled week. Amen.